This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. We are here at Iron Woman Construction and Environmental Services. Since 1999, they have been providing safe and efficient production, hauling services for Colorado and the surrounding Rocky Mountain area. I am here with the president as well as the operations managers. Sean, explain to me a little bit. You began this back in 1999, but you have a history of environmental expertise. How did you get involved in this industry? My first opportunity was at the redevelopment of the old Stapleton Airport. I had been working as a consultant uh, for a company called Recycled Materials Company, and they won the contract to recover the concrete and asphalt out at the old Stapleton Airport. As part of my deal, I got to do the trucking, and that's how we got started, was hauling concrete and asphalt out at Stapleton. Let me ask you this, be it the Stapleton, T-Rex, Rocky Flats, how are those uh, projects all similar when it comes to environmental concerns? It begins with safety and well-trained people, and really the biggest asset we have are the people that we have. You can train people, but if they're not going to follow through and implement, it doesn't matter. And so when you look at a project, whether it's out at Stapleton or it's T-Rex or up at Rocky Flats or the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, it begins with safety. Uh, safety, training, and, and then oversight. We've got some great guys here that provide great oversight from our utility standpoint to our trucking standpoint to the environmental cleanup. Uh, it all begins with our people and training. Obviously, you're talking about moving some serious soil. We're talking about it being contaminated many times. Um, a, a lot of times, it's a safety issue, like you say, and you really are putting together a turnkey operation that from beginning to end is is safety. Um, you mentioned how your, your people are concerned with that, you, you have to have quite a fleet of trucks as well that are able to pr provide that job. We do. We have a fleet of uh, 27 trucks. Uh, we operate uh, about a dozen uh, excavators and loader loaders. We also have you know our pipe division, which has won awards with some of our key uh, contractors, such as Kiwit out at uh, Denver Union Station, as well as DIA. We've done some serious projects that quite honestly take a lot of oversight management. Uh, I kind of look at it as a marriage with that contractor. We're working with them long term and so we've got to be on the same page whether it's safety, it's production, it's quality, it's all of the above. Let me ask you guys operations, some of the the personnel out there that you're dealing with, how important is a formal training when it comes to asbestos removal? I imagine that's something you guys see a lot of. It's very important. It's something that we uh, that we have to have before we even start the job is have certain hours that we have to be qualified for and certified for. Uh, on top of that, then there's DOT training for the drivers. Uh, that we have to have uh, so they can transport it across the highways uh, safely all. I was going to say, not only do you guys have to do this efficiently, but you got to also do it legally because we're talking about DOT compliance has got to be something that's an ongoing task with all of you. True, yeah, it is one thing that these guys have to take uh, really important whenever they start their careers off, getting the right training uh, as far as being able to take the, road, uh, the trucks up the highways and in the cargo that goes on them also. Like you began, Sean, it started out as a tr trucking and transportation. You have now developed into a different division with that as of utilities. How did that all become about? Well, again, it was a unique opportunity. Uh, Lonnie and I have known each other for about 15 years, and we kidded each other about starting a utility division. Uh, and then we were both working out on the West Corridor, uh, RTD's Fast Tracks program, and uh, opportunity presented itself. And so we were able to start a small utility group uh, with two uh, crews, and we're now up to six. We were talking about residential developments as well as municipal. Um, share with me a couple of the projects you guys have been able to take part in. So a lot of the big projects we have are the federal projects, the RTD projects. So we've done the West Corridor, we've done uh, Union Station, we've done DIA, we're currently on 225 as well. So we've done a lot of the federal projects, which has really helped um, boost boost our company and develop our company. Safety um, training and stuff like that is continuous on those projects. So it's helped us a bunch. Recently, we've been able to get back into the uh, housing development. So we've been doing work for Standard Pacific Homes currently right now. We have a bunch more coming out to work. So we're very excited about the opportunities that are being presented to us at this current time. A lot of challenges and on opportunities at the same time. We're talking about you're dealing with water, uh, sewers, sanitation mains. That's got to be tricky business when you're up for that kind of challenge. It absolutely is. There's a lot of moving parts. And as Lonnie mentioned, we're doing a variety of work, both public and private. And when you look at those types of jobs, uh, the safety has to carry over. Uh, production's important, but you don't get production if you don't have quality, and you don't get quality unless you have safety. And so with all those moving parts, it goes back to making sure that you have safe and efficient crews, the right equipment, people trained correctly, and 
that combination is what's made us successful. What you made you successful also is the fact that I would imagine not all contractors are certified MBE, DBE, SBE. You pretty much have them all. We do, and we've been very fortunate. Um, those designations, as you well know, get your foot in the door. And unless you can perform, you don't get ongoing work. What we're very proud of and what we look at ourselves as is first a contractor. We do quality work. We do it on time, under budget, or on budget, and we do it safely. It just happens to be that we're also a DBE, an MBE, and an SBE. And because of that, in that approach, we have developed good relationships with, like I would mentioned, uh, the companies like Keywit. Ames, uh, Flatirons, and a lot of these private sector companies such as Standard Pacific Homes, Sierra Ridge, uh, we're working with DR Horton or about to start working for DR Horton. And so we have a lot of these opportunities and it's because I think that we got our first start as Lonnie mentioned on a lot of these large public works projects. We got our foot in the door, we performed and they were happy with our performance. So you're saying basically that certification is like my dad used to say, I can get you the job, but I can't keep it for you. Exactly. Viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're gonna see is their website. On the website, first of all, you can take a look at a lot of the services they are able to provide out there. Basically taking care of Colorado, but also the Rocky Mountain region as well. Many projects you can click on right there. Really some really high profile projects they've been a part of. And it all began back in 1999 with the uh, redevelopment of Stapleton. You can take a look there at their certifications, be it CDOT projects and uh, some testimonials on the site as well. Really in this type of industry, um, you're a smaller company. Is that important when it, when it comes to value as well as also being able to focus on customer service? Absolutely. We don't carry the overhead that some of the larger companies do. And so we are a value-based uh, company. Based on the quality, the safety, and the production that we can get, we really do offer a niche service that is of value to our contractors. Sean, this began as a small venture for you in 99, uh, basically yourself as a family man. You have now got quite a few people here under uh, one roof that are putting a lot together. How important is it for you to make sure that your employees are happy? It's very important. Uh, happy employees are, I think, safe employees. And I keep harboring on safe because we want everybody to go home to their families. We're a family-owned business, and it's important to us that we treat our employees the way we would like to be treated. I've got kids. I don't want to miss their ball games. They have parent-teacher councils. It's important that our employees have that flexibility to meet those family demands. And so as we grow our company, we want to maintain those values uh, of employee appreciation, employee development. And of course, we're always looking to add to our family with good employees uh, for our future growth. Last thing before I let you guys go, I have to ask about Iron Woman, the name. Obviously, you wanted a name that would catch the public's attention, which it does, but it would also say something about yourself. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a Blackfoot Indian. Uh, the name Iron Woman is my great-great maternal grandmother. She was a full-blooded Blackfoot Indian. And uh, our logo is FE, which is from the periodic table for iron. And then, of course, the woman symbol. So we've got Iron Woman. Viewers, last time, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. You're going to see their website as well as their contact information. That is Iron Woman Construction and Environmental Services, building today for a sustainable tomorrow. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.